Praise God. Jesus, bless the eyes and ears of the listeners. I plead your blood on this in the name of Jesus. Amen. Yo, I got to tell you something. You know how good God is? I mean to tell you. When you see all this bad stuff going around you, God is good. Okay? He's He, he knows everything. He hears everything. He sees everything. And that's no joke. Okay? You know, I decided to go live on YouTube yesterday, which I've tried to, you know, when I, when I first hit my thousand subscribers, I couldn't wait for it because I wanted to go live, 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 live. But then when I hit it, <clears throat> I did go live and I would try to teach and I noticed the comments kept popping up and that disturbed me. You know, I feel like I had to stop and keep reading the comments and I would forget where I was at and I was like, oh, I can't do that. I couldn't focus. So I kind of just didn't do it, and I just took it over to Google Meets and everything. And then I'm like, you know, I need to do it on YouTube, because these people, some of y'all can't make it to Google Meets. So anyway, speed it up, I did it. And I said, Kim, just let them talk. Just let them talk, and you just teach. Focus. <laughs> That's what I did. Okay, well, I picked up a few new people that are now coming to Google Meets. They came last night. Praise God for that, because this is his church, and God is growing it, okay? So that's good. Okay, so let me tell you what happened. So this one individual, come on, needed to know God really bad, needed to know God. So I'm going to teach her God, okay? And uh, yeah, just, just, I'm not going to get too much about it, but anyway, a little confusion there with this individual. You know, uh, she was into Hinduism and Scientology and all kinds of stuff like that. <clears throat> so, she didn't understand, you know, how to focus on God's Word, which I'm going to teach her. And I was showing her a bit last night as much as I could how, how Jesus showed me to show you how to study. Because when you study the way Jesus showed me to tell you to study, um, it is just like, <sighs> if you study the Bible that way, I'm going to tell you something. It will, it will solve so many of your problems. A lot of people can't get focused on God's Word. They can't sit down long enough to focus on it. Can't stay focused when they're trying to read it. Okay, Jesus showed me a way so you can focus. He showed me a way that when you study the Word that way, if you really do it, you forget about your problems because you're focused. Okay, if your mind's racing, it's calming your mind down because you're focused. Okay, it's just covers so it teaches you how to study the word, teaches you where the scriptures are, it, it um teaches you how to hear God, it encourages you, and it shows you where you need to change your life. I mean, I tell y'all, it's huge. Just studying it the way Jesus told me to tell you to do it. He showed it to me. Okay, so I was showing this individual that you know Google Meets was at the end, so it was late and it was time to hang up. So I showed her quick as I could. I said, study it like this. She said, my mind keeps racing. I can't sit, you know, keep my, keep my thought process on the Bible when I'm reading it. I said, okay, don't just read it. Study it. I'm going to show you how. So I went back upstairs because we was ready to hang up. And I flipped the Bible. I said, okay, Jesus told me this. He said, if it's a new person you're teaching, new to me, he said, tell them to study through Matthew and then jump over to Acts. Okay, he said, tell them to start there, study there, then go back through wherever, you know, they need to go, the rest of it. But start there, because they're learning who I am and about the Christian way of living. Start there, okay? So, I ran back upstairs. I said, let me start, try to help you and show you something. I'm going to show you how Jesus showed me to study. I ran upstairs, okay? I didn't know which, I didn't have a verse planned out, so I, I was like, Open the Bible, and I was like, "Well, let me just go to something." And just flip, flip, flip to to at um to uh, Acts chapter four, verse twelve, I think it was, and um whatever the verse was, it was something like that. Um, I said, "Okay, now listen to this," and he was saying, "There is no other name under the sun to which will save you." You know, I don't remember the exact verse, but it was something like that. There's no other name under the sun to which you can be saved. But Jesus Christ, I am the only way, the only God, the only one, okay? So I explained it to her. I said, now you take that verse and read it. Write on your notebook, uh, 
Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Write that on your notebook. Now read it. Read it. Okay? Now, after you read it, dissect it. On your notebook, write down everything that verse tells you. What do you think that means? Write it on your notebook. It's telling me that there's no other person or being on this planet, no other being or spirit or anything that can save my soul except for Jesus Christ. He is the one true only God, the only God, God of everything. I said, whatever it means to you, write it down. Let the Holy Spirit tell you, listen. Okay, just because you don't hear him with your voice doesn't mean he's not explaining it to you. Write down what it means. Okay. And then, then you can, I'm going to start having them get with me on Google Meets and go over their meetings with me. Make sure they're on the right track. Anyway, so I was reading that out to her. Okay. And then, uh, you know, we stopped talking. I go downstairs and I'm outside. And uh, she's still talking. And out of nowhere... She still don't have an understanding yet, okay? Uh, she starts talking. She's like, well, you know, I used to be... At, then she tells me afterwards, you know, I used to be into Hinduism. And she's like, I know Christians have a, a problem with that and are judgmental uh, 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 against that kind of thing. Are you judgmental against that? Do you consider yourself a Christian? I'm like, I am a Christian. So I had to explain a lot to her. And she said, well, you know, every time I pray to a Hindu god... Um, my, my prayer would get answered right away. Something would happen. I'd get a sign or something, she said. And when I prayed to God of the Bible, I didn't get anything. And I said, I had to stop right there. My mouth hit the floor, y'all. I said, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I said, do you realize now I know why God took us to Acts 412. You just had an experience with God. I said, you can't say anymore, ever anymore, that you never had um, God answer you right away. You never had an experience with God. You're here. You came to my video. God led you to my video yesterday, my live. And you're here at Google Meets now because God put you here. God called you here. So God, and you're seeking God. You want to know God. You're here. He led you here. So that's an experience right there. And before you ever told me that you were into Hinduism and you, that you believe those gods are gods, which she does, she believes they are truly gods. God told you before you told me that he already, he let you know five minutes ago that I am the only God. I am God. I said, he just spoke that to you before you told me you was a Hinduism. I said, you just had an experience with God. He heard you before you even told it to me. And he had me show it to you before you even said it that he is the only God, y'all. You got to start paying attention, y'all, when you have an experience with God. And like he told me, Jesus told me, he said, my people, my own people don't know my word and they don't know how to hear me. Okay, God will speak to you in many different ways. He spoke to that girl last night through my mouth, through my mouth. And then after she said what she said, I realized right away why he took me to that scripture for her. Why we were there. I said, God answered you before you even asked the question, honey. You had an experience that so you can't say that God never done nothing for you when you asked him. He did it before you asked him. Okay. Y'all, God is amazing. He really is. He blows my mind apart every single day. The way he works. So, you know, sometimes you're ex waiting for God to give you a personal signs, a specific sign, something in front of you or something to show up. You know, God will speak to you in several ways. I want you to pay more attention to what's going on in your life. Just like with that girl, God spoke to her before she even told me what the issue was. He clarified it with her first. I am the only God. This girl's looking for who is a true God. Who is God? You know, uh, she believes the Hindu gods are gods, okay? And uh, God spoke to her before she even told me that. You know, I, I, I can't explain it no more than that, but I'm going to tell you something. God spoke to that girl last night through my mouth 
I didn't know why it was so, it was like I was flipping the Bible looking for a verse and, and I was just drawn to that particular verse. So I said, all right, let's study this particular verse. Boom. I'm the only God, you know, I'm at nobody else under the sun. Nobody else. And that is what she needed to hear. That's the exact verse that girl needed to hear. And then we go on, her mind is racing. She's da 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 And then later it comes out that she she's into these Hindu gods. Okay? And how they answered her prayers, but God of the Bible never did. I say, he just did. He answered your prayer before you even... He answered you. One, he led you here. He led you here. And there was so many things I said in that video yesterday when I went live that she specifically needed to hear. I didn't know her yet. That she needed to hear. She was like, man, your video blew my mind apart. You know, you were saying things that, that I'm, I'm dealing with right now. I said, well, there's a reason God, you had an experience with God. Because he led you here. Okay? And then he answered you about who was God before you even brought it up. And that's your main problem, knowing God, knowing who God is. What is a God? You know, so, y'all, God speaks in many different ways, many different ways, okay? Now, moving on, I want y'all to pay attention. I want you to pay attention to what's going on in Israel. Please pay attention, okay? This could be, and it looks like it may be, the battle that leads to all battles. Okay, we already know we're in the season. We know we're seeing the Antichrist at work. We know what we're seeing going on with the, with the, uh, you know, <laughs> I got to be careful what I say. Um, with the one world government, we see what they're, what they're doing. Okay, you're going to see it get intense, y'all. It's going to intensify soon. You ain't going to be able to take that thing off your face until you get some proof there's going to have to be proof they're going to come up they're making that an issue right now they're making it an issue so they can bring out whatever it is they're going to use for you to have proof that you've had the thing in your arm you know what i mean otherwise you can't take that mask off your face okay so things are escalating quickly they're moving along it's according to their plan but you know what God's in control. He's in control. He told us this is how it was going to be. He told us. We knew it since we were, since we first heard about the Word of God. We'd known it. But we're watching it. We're watching it. Move along quickly. Okay? So, what you do, we're watching the Israeli war. Move along quickly. There's, there's very specific players. Iran, Turkey, Malaysia. All of them are coming in on it now. Okay, the other Arab nations are kind of iffy. They kind of want to stay out of it right now. But the key players are jumping all up in this war, y'all. And that's and what's our own government doing? Trying to make Israel look bad. Like they're doing the wrong thing. Defending themselves. Okay, Netanyahu's like, I, they, Biden's telling him, stop bombing. Stop bombing. And Netanyahu's like, I can't because there's constant rockets coming into my land, constant. I have to retaliate to save the people. But people are going to make Israel look like they're the bad ones, the ones that won't stop when they're protecting themselves, okay? So we're watching this escalate now. Turkey, Ed, what's the name? Erdogan, Edwan, I can't pronounce his name. Erdogan, you know what I'm talking about. The man in Turkey. He's trying to get the Pope to come in on it to to uh put a i forgot what you call it put something over israel to get he's, they're trying to split the land divide the land they're trying to i mean y'all it's escalating okay things are moving up all right zachariah ezekiel amos we are in the season so you're gonna watch it intensify it's going to we got this big super blood moon eclipse coming up in a few days. While this battle's going on, it's a high holy feast day in Israel. I mean, this week, Shavuot, okay? So, I mean, y'all, the signs are all up in your face. The signs are all up in your face, okay? Just because you may go outside and you don't see nothing going on here, like it's pretty calm and peaceful looking here, honey, all around us is going crazy, okay? All around us 
is big time spiritual warfare. Major. Major. You know, I was telling a friend last night. I was up really late talking to a friend last night until 5 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> I was up all night. Yeah, but sometimes people need to talk, you know, and I and this person needed to talk. So I stayed up and talked. And, uh, you know, the patriarchs, the uh, I mean the apostles, they got to have a very exciting time in life. They walked with Jesus. They got to experience a lot of the miracles. I mean, they, what an exciting time for them to be in, right? Well, now you go through all these generations till we get to me and you. Me and you. You and I. Okay, the apostles were chosen by God to be there, alive, born during that specific time. Well, you know what? They were here for the beginning of it. We're here for the end of it. They were there for the beginning of Jesus. We're here to watch him come back. So you were chosen for this very specific time. I'm trying to say... It's not like the apostles were any better than you are. You know, not more special than you are. They were chosen to be here during that time. Then there was a group in the middle. Now we're chosen to be here during this time. Because God said, you're the ones that can handle this. Be the warrior that you are. This is very exciting times to be alive, y'all. You are one of the ones chosen to watch the Lord Jesus Christ return, bust through those clouds, y'all. You're about to watch the resurrection of the dead. You're about to see things that's going to blow your mind apart with joy, with total joy, if you are a, a born-again believer in Jesus Christ. But if you're not, you're about to see something like you ain't never seen on the other side. OK, so now's the time. This is why God is so heavy on me right now with my teaching. God tells me what to teach every single time. Teach about this. Teach about that. This is what they need. This is what they need. And I have to do a mega amount of studying to lay it out to you in a form of a lecture. OK, he lets me do that. But he tells me what to teach on. OK, he corrects me pretty much. I can't explain to you, but it all comes from God. I could never do anything like this on my own. I didn't know how I always thought I was if I was to be a Christian, I always thought I'd be called to be singing Christian songs. I'd be witnessing through singing. I figured that. No, God had another plan for me. He said, honey, you're not going to sing it. You're going to preach it. And that's what I'm doing. Y'all, that's what he's doing through me. I would have never chose this. Had no idea I was called to do this. So sometimes you think you want God to use you for what your abilities are, what your skills are. Well, I like to sing, so I believe God wants to use me to sing. You don't know what God wants to do with you until you completely surrender your life to him. And then it, whatever it is he wants to do with you, it will just happen. It'll happen. So right now is very important to God that you totally get to know him just him. A lot of people know of him, don't really know him. He wants you to know his ways, his agenda, how he spoke to people, how he worked with people. How did he approach them? You know, all kinds, just know God. You have to know God, how he works. Just like he spoke to that girl yesterday through me, but nobody really recognized that. That, wow, wait a minute, that's why God gave you that scripture for her. And then five minutes later, she talks about the Hindu gods answering her prayers. God just told her there is no other God but me. So I saw God at work quickly. As soon as she said that, I knew exactly why God took me to that scripture. I knew that was God talking because I know how to hear God. I know how he talks and how he works because I seeked him. It's not because I met Jesus face to face. It's because I seek him and it's because I study my butt off, y'all, about God. Who is God? How does he work? How did he approach these people? What did he do with them? What was the outcome? How did he speak to them? How did they know? You know, blah, blah, blah. You study God. Find out who he is, how he is. And you're going to see your life radically change because once you know who God is and how he works, okay, you open the door for God to come in now and use you. And that's his goal. That's what he wants. You may like to sing or do whatever, and you think that's your calling. Uh, you get to God, you know who he is, and he'll have something totally <laughs> that you would have never planned. You would have never planned. <clears throat>
All right, I got bees flying around my head. So in the name of Jesus, I'm going to go in. I got some Google meters I got to individually Google meet with coming up now. So um, <clears throat> we have Google meets tomorrow night, which is, what is today? Thursday. Today's Wednesday. So we have Google meets tomorrow night, which is Thursday. Um, if you look through some of my descriptions on my videos yesterday, the past couple days, I have witnessing shirts for sale. Go get you one. It's not about me. I don't make squat off of it. So go get you one. It's a witnessing shirt. Uh, you got to witness. These are the days you must witness. Jesus said, if you're ashamed of me before your friends, I'll be ashamed of you before my father. And you're gonna, we're getting ready to stand before him, y'all. It's getting ready to happen. So do everything you can do for the Lord Jesus Christ. Everything you can do. If you can't witness with your mouth, go get a shirt. Wear it. Let the world see it. Witness somehow, y'all. Somehow. All right. God bless each one of you in the name of Jesus. Um, oh, there's a couple of you. Thank you for what you've done for the ministry. Thank you so much. And I know God sees. Of course he does. And he will bless. He will bless those who bless his kingdom. And thank you for doing that with this one. All right. In Jesus' name, God bless you all.